Hello and welcome to episode 55 of the Mouse's Makes Knitting podcast. My name is Mandy, sometimes known as Mouse, and this is my co-host Puppy. Pups. Puppy is uh, multitasking today. She is co-hosting the podcast and also watching her territory for the back cat. And keeping an eye on next door's dog who's, well I was going to say sunbathing but there's no sun. But he's got himself stretched out so must be watched apparently. It is quite nice to have a co-host but I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to show you my trousers. Hang on. Let me see if I can get them in frame. You see the state of that? It's not my hair. Though, to be fair, my hair is all over the house because the blood pressure tablets they've got me on at the moment is making it all fall out again. So every time I touch it, I come away with a handful. So I suppose I can't complain that much, can I? Yeah, both legs look like that. That's because I moved this cushion, which she doesn't actually come into contact with, but she's managed to cover in hair. Anyway, that's not why you're here. You're not here to listen to me moan about cat hair problems. You're here to see what I've been knitting. The answer to that really is not a great deal. I've not been terribly well. I have had some sensory nerve issues um, and one of the things that happens is that my hand my left hand gets very very painful <coughs> here we go again with the cough one moment it starts off feeling like I've had it in water that's far too hot so it's just generally sore and that moves on to not being able to touch anything with any texture at all, including my knitting. And then this week it's also been moving on to the feeling like prickly things are walking about on it or under the skin. So that's not been a great deal of fun. That together with the dizziness that the blood pressure tablets have also um, gifted me with has meant I've not done a great deal of knitting, but I have done a great deal of sleeping. So, you're quite lucky I'm up and dressed today, to be honest. Anyway, that became another load of moaning. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry to all the new subscribers who've popped up just recently, because I don't normally sit here and moan. Or perhaps I do, actually. I don't know. <coughs> right. Let me give you some updates. I'm going to start with the um, the sweater that I'm making for my knit along. The knit along is to support Ukraine designers, and that can be knitting, crochet, cross stitch, sewing. It really doesn't matter. Whatever it is, if it's by a UK designer, you can enter it. And the way to enter it is. Only on Instagram, I'm afraid, using the hashtag knitting with Ukraine. And you, the, the, the thing that gets you the entry is that you must tag the designer in it in a way that they will get a notification that they've been tagged. Because the idea is really to give them some moral support. And if a byproduct of that is people buy some patterns, as I have done, then that gives them a little bit of financial support as well. But the main idea is moral support. So you can use a free pattern. You can use a pattern you've already got. Um, you can use something that you've made before even. Just make sure that you use the knitting with Ukraine hashtag. <clears throat> and then at whatever your designer's Instagram name is. If you can't find that, let me know and I'll see if I can find out for you. Um, the one that I'm making, this is by Natalie Pellick. 
and on Instagram she is knitting for sweet and this is the Sienna sweater by her it's knit in single stranded mohair and I think you can actually today begin to see how it's going to come out so I've finished the yoke and I've divided for the sleeves, which was my goal, really. And I did this quite early on, um, Wednesday or Thursday, I think I got this done. So that's how far I've got with this. I haven't started the body. I've literally just divided for the sleeves. I'm deciding there is um, a lace pattern that goes down each side I'm deciding whether I'm going to do that or not I think I probably will but yeah that's where we are at the moment the yarn I'm using is I'm just going to show you because I can't say it it's this stuff which I bought on eBay on a d-stash a couple of years ago I think and it's 75% mohair 5% wool and 20% nylon so sometimes my hand will tolerate it because it is quite soft but other times when it's super sensitive it, it can feel the texture of it so sometimes it's enjoyable to knit at the moment not so much it is extremely warm though so that's my first whip. I've got nothing finished this week. I thought I was going to have, and had I not had some, she's gone to sleep now. I might as well tilt you back up. She's having a bit of a snore, quite honestly. Um, had I not had problems with my hand, I might have had something finished, but I haven't. Sorry. The other thing I've worked on a bit this week is my rocket tea. Last time I showed it to you, I was, where are we? There. So I've not done a huge amount. I've done that much. I'm striping three different yarns and doing two rounds of each stripe. The yarns I'm using are, I'll be a bit careful with this because they're starting to get a bit loose now, White Mice from Little Mouse House, Montague from the Shakespeare range by Amanda at Little Lycac Yarns. Oh, I've just found something. I've been looking for that. And Squished Kermit by my friends Caroline and Andrew from Aria Bark Designs. And I'm striping those a green, a row of cream, a pink, a row of cream. So I'm using twice as much of the cream. I have got another skein, um, which I've not caked up as yet, but I think I'm going to need it before I get to the end. Of the sweater I started off let me see if I can show you oh gosh I started off running the yarns down each stripe and I didn't like it it was I don't know it was doing something funny to the way the stripes met each other so I've ended up changing yarns and cutting and I'm going to have to sew them all in. I'm also not putting in the eyelet detail down the body which I've done on the last two that I've made. It has this same eyelet detail, runs down the two sides where the seams would be. I'm not doing that, I'm just going round and round. So there's some progress. It's starting to look a bit more like a wearable item. Um, I'm hoping to have this finished before the next cast on party, which is 
25th of June. In fact, I'm hoping to have all these things. Might not have the Sienna sweater finished because the mohair is a bit of a challenge. Um, and today is 1st of June. And the lovely Amanda at Little Lycac has started a whip finishing make along. Have a look either on her latest episode or I'm sure she shared it on Instagram this morning. Um, which will give you the details. That's giving me an, an extra spur to finish them. So that, I don't remember if I said, this is the Rocket Tea by um, Tannis Lavely, Tannis Fl Fiber Arts. And this is my third successful version of it. There have been a couple of unsuccessful versions along the way. Um, but this one I am really looking forward to having finished. Ooh. Oh, I thought I was going to knock my drink over then. I'm just going to have some of my drink. I'm sorry. I don't like drinking when I'm um, recording. Well, I suppose I could pause it, couldn't I? I keep saying, catching sight of my... These were a brand new pair of trousers. Not a single cat hair on them. And now... Mind you, the mohair hasn't helped either. So they were the two things that I've kind of dabbled with um, since I saw you last. This is probably going to be quite a short episode because I only really have one more thing to talk about. Oh, oh gosh, it's going to be one of those episodes as well. With the knit along that I'm running, the Knitting with Ukraine knit along, share your makes as often as you like. You don't have to wait until they're finished. You don't have to finish them, in fact. The knit along runs, and, or make along, runs until the 31st of August. Um, and if you want to share your progress every day up until the 31st of August, that's fine. Just make sure that you use the hashtag and you tag your designer. If you just want to show when you've got to a, a recognisable amount of progress, like you've split for the sleeves or you know you finish the body that's fine you can share as often as you like um because the purpose of the make along i know i'm going back and i can't edit this so this is going to be messy the purpose of the make along is to provide some moral support and for these ukrainian designers to see that people are thinking of them and people are working on their designs so the more you share it more moral support they get you can enter as many different objects as you like so long as they're by a ukrainian designer anything goes machine knitting i had that question this last week um that's absolutely fine if it is done if it's been designed by a ukrainian you can enter it right having kind of backtracked on myself then the thing that I'm concentrating on, if you've been around a while, you know I have a knitting rotor. And generally what I do is every day has got a project or two projects assigned to it. Apart from Sundays, which are supposed to be scrappy, but haven't been for weeks, if I'm honest. I'm also supposed every day to do a triangle on my triangulum blanket and traditionally she says like it's been going on for eternity I would show you that on the first episode of the month but I can't show it to you today because I have to admit that I am quite behind with it in fact let me have a little look and I'll tell you how far behind I am with it let me see Two weeks I'm two weeks behind that means I've got 14 triangles 15 if you include today's no 14 including today's I was gonna say you might see it next week but you might not 
you might not see it until the first episode in August because that's a lot of catching up to do and I'm trying to finish all these things ready for the next cast on party so yeah I've slipped a bit I have slipped a bit with my triangulum it's not that I've fallen out of love with it I'm still enjoying it I'm still enjoying picking colours but I've used my knitting time for other things and each triangle takes me about 45 minutes so that's quite a lot of knitting on something else so I've not been doing it which is naughty of me I'm doing it this year instead of a temperature blanket I started a temperature blanket last year fell out of love with that around about July and stopped doing it the year before I did one and I worked on it every single day every single day I put on two rows highest temperature and lowest temperature and that was brilliant but I haven't got the um what is it not willpower staying power this this time it's because two years ago I didn't have a podcast and I didn't have half a dozen or more I don't want to be specific about how many whips lying around that I needed to work on as well so I think that's a factor in why it's got neglected anyway my head is all over the place today I do apologize this probably isn't flowing quite as well as it normally does or am I just kidding myself that it normally flows nicely anyway the thing I've been trying to get finished for a make along that finishes on the 15th of June is this it's my own design and it's where are we this is it it's the autumn stripes I'm calling it autumn stripes sweater I'd finished the back last week and here is the back and then this week I have finished the front which rather unfortunately I'd hoped that I'd worked it out that it would end with this under my chin but it hasn't it's got like the orange and the brown under my chin but it doesn't matter it's got that little bit up down there it's okay um and and this much of a sleeve which I suppose is just about to my elbow so I've not got very far to go before I start the raglan on the sleeve and I'm hoping I've worked it out that I want the stripes where I join the raglan seams to match up and I'm hoping that I've worked it out correctly that this will the raglan shaping will start on the right stripe for it all to match up because I measured it and I worked it all out the body front and back both started with the car key but the sleeve I started with the burgundy so I, I think I've worked it out properly maths is not my best subject because I think I've got it worked out time will tell hopefully next week it will be finished and you'll be able to see so as I say it's my own design um, just a simple raglan sweater no shaping other than the raglan and the neck the yarn I'm using the majority of it is Starcraft Special DK and the colours are khaki burgundy copper gingerbread gold and mustard and for the ribbing I'm using Zerdar Jewel Spun in a colour that I don't quite remember and as you can see that's the, the cuff of this sleeve so bear in mind those colours the ribbing on the body those colours so slightly different and the ribbing on the back see if I can get all three together 
different again. It's not terribly, terribly well. I'm not, I'm juggling. So they're all slightly different because I'm using some leftover yarn. Oh gosh. I'm using this, which is the Serdal Jewel Spun in a colourway whose name I cannot remember. It's, I'm sure, something to do with sunsets. And this was a leftover from this shawl. Great big, giant, corner to corner shawl that I made last year. No, I didn't. I made it. Did I make it earlier this year? I think I made it in January. If you've been around a while, you might recognise it. The leftovers is what I'm from this is what I'm using for the ribbing on the sweater. And the, the other colours, all the style craft, the khaki, the burgundy, the copper, the gingerbread, the gold, the mustard. I bought to make tassels to go on this. And <clears throat> we have four cats, as you may know. I was going, I think, to a hospital appointment and I got out a shawl that I'd made a couple of years ago that's got a tassel on the point. And I just put it on the sofa while I went to get my shoes to put on, turned round and a cat was dragging it off across the floor by the tassel. So I decided not to put any tassels on this one. But I'd already bought the yarn and I'd been wondering what to do with it. And... um. Kathy from Whatnot and her daughter Mandy from Art by Mandy Meow, who are in Australia, started running a cardical. Doesn't have to be a cardigan. Um, and that finishes on the 15th of June. And I thought I'll make a sweater, stripe a sweater using those colours and enter it into that. It started off being a granny go round cardigan. I'm quite a novice crocheter and it all came out um, the wrong size and I didn't know how to fix it. If it had been knitting, I would have known what to do. And I suppose what I should have done really is pulled it down and started again with a larger hook. But it was really hurting my other hand. I've got arthritis in my thumb and tendonitis in my wrist and forearm and it was hurting that so much that I didn't want to redo it so I started making the sweater. All of this if you've been here before you know. So that's kind of the origins of it. Now though I have a bit of a dilemma because this obviously is the right side and it's very pretty but the wrong side is also rather pretty and I'm wondering now do I make the wrong side the right side I don't know what do you think I've got a while to go before I finish two sleeves and get it sewn up so comment below if you think the wrong side is nicer or the right side is nicer so I'm torn because this would be lovely and soft against your skin as well the right side that is but then will I get all these little floats from my slip stitches will I get those caught on things and is that too busy I don't know as I say comment below and let me know what you think oh god that's come undone I better do that up. otherwise I'll lose stitches and I mustn't lose stitches Doris I, I swear to you, 
everything has got stitch stoppers on. Look. There's a lady called Doris who watches this, who gets very aerated with me when I lose stitches because I haven't put a stitch stopper on it. Everything has the stitch stoppers, Doris. I swear, I promise. I won't do it to you anymore. I won't cause you the distress and the trauma of seeing me dropping my stitches. I'm being a very good girl. You'd be proud of me. And I think that's everything I've got to show you today. I'm, oh, no, it's not. Oh, how? I'm doing it again. And it's right, literally right under my nose. I, I had a surprise. Hang on. Hang on, because I will get into a mess otherwise. I got a notification on Friday morning that something had been posted. And I thought, I don't remember ordering anything. And then I realised what it was. I'm not deliberately building up like, um, what do they call it? Building the tension. I am just trying to tidy up a little bit around behind myself. Um, yes. When I looked to see who it was from, I realised what it was. And it was something very exciting. And a little present to myself that I'd pre-ordered a while ago and then completely forgotten about. This is going to crinkle. If you've got earphones in, bear that in mind. There's going to be a crinkle. It was this. Which is a mini set by... The Lonely Knitter. And this is something rather special. Because this is a Firefly inspired mini set. Now, I'd completely forgotten that I'd ordered it. And then when I was reminded, because I had got the notification that it had been posted, I thought it was a five skein mini set even. So imagine my excitement when it turned out to be ten skeins. They are all named after things from the series Firefly. If you're not a sci-fi buff, Firefly was the most amazing and full of potential series, um, which was kind of like the Wild West but set in space. And it was a Joss Whedon series, and I know Joss Whedon's kind of not a popular person at the moment, but that doesn't stop me loving Buffy and Angel and Firefly, in fact. So it was cancelled after one season. Um, I don't think they even finished the season. And then the fans created so much that they made a feature film to kind of round the story off. There is currently, I believe, talk of a reboot. I think Disney might be doing to do a reboot. And I have mixed feelings about that. But I have to remind myself that they rebooted Star Trek I am a lifelong Trekkie and I loved it. I know a lot of people didn't, but I did. So I'm trying to keep an open mind. It may not be the same, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I don't really want to take it out of the crinkly packet, but my favourites are this one. This is called Serenity. Serenity is the name of the spaceship in Firefly. It's a, I'm not, I was just about to go off into a, it's a Firefly class. No, just no, you don't need to know that. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you've got no interest and there's no need for me to tell you. This is another favourite. This is called Wash's Wardrobe and that's the pilot. Um... Is Wash, his name is Wash, and he wears like Hawaiian shirts. They're my two favourites. I also love this one, um, which is coming out a little bit dull. Let me turn it around. 
Um, that's named after another character, Kaylee, who is the engineer, ship's engineer, but she's young and bouncy and sweet and just lovely. They're my favourite three, but I actually love every single one of them. And I've done a lot of debating over the week about what I'm going to do with them because they are very special. Firefly is one of my favourite things. Um, so what I'm planning to do, I've looked at loads of patterns, shawls, and I did think about a litmus cowl. And then my husband made a very good point and he said, how often do you wear a shawl or a cowl? And the answer is, well, probably not very often because I don't really go out. I do sometimes put them on in the house if I'm chilly, but that's not very often either. So what I'm going to do, I think, is knit a tee using each one of these. They're 20 gram minis um, but with a stripe between them of a neutral colour. I've yet to decide what the neutral colour is, whether it's going to be grey or black or cream. Any of which I think would show them off nicely. There are a lot of purple tones in there. Um, this one which looks grey is actually purple and green. So I don't know, I might go for grey or black rather than my usual cream. But that's my plan for those. Very, very excited by, of, about them. And they're by the Lonely Knitter, who used to be Crafter's Balm, I think. But she's just rebranded everything as the Lonely Knitter. She has a podcast. I'll put that down, stop crinkling and annoying everybody called the lonely knitter and i think she has her etsy shop etsy shop no it's not etsy it's her own website was crafters balm and it's now also the lonely knitter um they were a pre-order i don't think they're available anymore she's doing throughout the year mini skein clubs um of television series i think it's either the one that's running at the moment. Yes, I think it is the one that's running at the moment is only Fools and Horses. So that will be inspired by characters. And there was an option to get 5 gram, 10 gram or 20 gram minis. And I did toy with the idea of getting the 5 gram ones and just putting them in a little box frame on the wall. But... I could probably still do something like that if I just saved a little bit off each skein, couldn't I? This is how much of a firefly addict I am. I've got a key ring that's a spaceship. I should have brought it to show you. I've got a belt buckle. That's about, I know, that big. Um, that's the, sort of like the engine plate off firefly, so it gives the, the the name of the vehicle and the uh, this is all pretend remember and um the the class of ship and all sorts of information like that that we were going to put on my motorcycle um but my motorcycle is tucked away for the foreseeable future on account of me not being well enough to ride it for the last three years now so it's just sat in my drawer and it might end up being a belt buckle after all. Anyway, having said this was probably going to be shorter than usual, I've managed to waffle on and make it a bit longer than I try. I try for half an hour and we're up to 34 minutes. So by the time I've finished waffling and saying bye-bye, it'll be 35, I expect. Anyway, let me know down below whether you think... Um, the right side or the wrong side of that autumn stripes sweater as I'm calling it should be on the outside and I will 
let you know what everybody's decided next week. Until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. If you're new, welcome. And I will see you next week. Until then, happy knitting. <laughs>